sit back as I tell you one of the greatest love stories ever known to Second Life. Grunt and I met through a mutual friend. On June 27, 2012, I sent him a friend request and he accepted. That was the first step on the path that we currently walk together. We seemed to bond almost instantly. We spent many hours just talking and getting to know each other, and we quickly became a vital part of each other's life. When we were not together in Second Life, our thoughts were certainly there. We shared vital parts of our real life and Second Life, and we each poured out our souls and trusted quickly. We connected in spirit and in heart. Grunt became my very best friend long before he became my partner. It seems that everyone around us knew that Grunt and I should be together as partners, even before we did. If anyone saw me out in Second Life, it would not be long before someone would ask, Where's Grunt? It seemed where Grunt was, so was Yona, and where Yona was, sure enough, Grunt was there too. We seemed to have become an inseparable team and everyone around us saw it immediately. The problem was neither of us was willing to admit it. All we were doing was taking one day at a time, having fun and seeing where it went. Second life was fun-filled and exciting, however, that would soon come to an end. Come December of 2012, I had to leave Second Life for a while. I didn't have any idea if I would ever be able to return. I had built a BDSM dungeon and I had gained quite a following. Instead of closing it down, I ended up asking Grunt if he would step up and take care of things while I was gone. Well, after much hesitation and thought, Grunt agreed to do so. He didn't hesitate though because he didn't want to do it, it was just fear fear that he could not hold the lair together and fear that he would disappoint me. In the end, not only did Grunt step up and hold things together, but he continued working and building the dreams and aspirations that I had for Master Yona's lair. You see, I was diagnosed with cancer and I needed to take some time away from Second Life to take care of real life. When I asked Grunt to take over the lair, what I did not share with him at the time was I thought the cancer was going to win. I honestly thought I was dying. I didn't share that fact with anyone, but I did share with all of them that I had gotten a diagnosis and they all knew that I needed to take a break to deal with it. What I did was, I held a Christmas party at the lair and I announced that Grunt would be taking my place. I signed out that night not knowing what my real life future would hold. Yet, I was happy knowing that my friends would still have a place to gather, and I knew beyond all else that they were in good hands with Grunt. Well, that would have been it had I not beat cancer and returned to Second Life. Yes, I won that battle. I never realized till I came back that at the Christmas party, he had put on a smile and accepted his new position without a negative word. I was trying my hardest that night to be brave, not realizing that he was doing the exact same thing for me. During the four months that I was gone from Second Life, Grunt and I kept in contact through Facebook Messenger, email, and Skype. Grunt would send me weekly emails and updates. He sent everything from pictures of food that he thought I might be able to tolerate during chemo and radiation to a breakdown on how things were going at the lair. It seemed like in my darkest times, Grunt's messages and emails would always be there. There is a certain one that stays with me that I would like to share with you. Grunt emailed me right after Christmas that year and told me that he prayed for me nightly and part of his prayer was, Lord help me to either help him with his fight or to hold his hand on the way home. That for me was the realization that Grunt had connected with me in such a way that he knew exactly what was happening. I knew at that point in time that I honestly loved that man and that he loved me as well. After coming back to Second Life and rejoining Grunt at the lair in April 2013, we quickly picked up where we had left off. 
The only difference was that I was cancer free. At the time, we owned two different sims in Second Life and we decided to merge them together as one. Well, it made perfect sense. By the beginning of June 2013, what was once Master Yona's lair became Master Yona and Master Grunt's lair. I soon realized I needed to ask this man to partner me because I knew where my heart was and I didn't want to take the chance of losing him. I wanted to do it in a really spectacular way, but I'm ashamed to say that it didn't happen that way. In fact, it was very, very lame. Here's how it went down. We had just put our first buildings on a new sim. We went into the lodge and stood on the upper level to get some time alone. In casual conversation, I said to him, Grunt, I sent you a partner request. And he said, you did? And I said, yes. And within seconds, I heard the notification come up that he accepted. Yeah, that was it. There is no more to that story. In fact, no one even noticed that we were partnered for a few days. A bit later, I put together a small video to express how I felt. The way I had asked was so nonchalant that I didn't want him thinking that I really didn't care or that I took it lightly. You can see the video I put together on my profile under the pics sections. It's there along with the one I did for him last year for our one year anniversary. Well this year, Grunt, I didn't do a video. The reason is because this is being taped live. Folks, that is how it originally happened. Now this is how it should have happened. <laughs> so, um, what are you doing for the rest of your life? Your life?
grunt. This is how it should have been the very first time I asked you. Bold and wonderful with the singing, dancing, and fireworks. Tonight, I hope to make up for that nonchalant way I asked you on June 25th, 2013. You and I, we've never had a fight, an argument, or a crossword in the three years we have been together. We have not had jealousy or anger. Those are the only two emotions that we have not shared with each other. You, Grunt, you've given me three wonderful years of second life with you by my side. Two of those as your partner. You and I share Tuck as our boy. And we have a beautiful sim that we call home. You have been my partner, my soulmate, and my best friend. Grunt, you saved my life and I can't thank you enough. I love you so very much, my Phoenix. Happy anniversary. your smile another day just passes by but now I know how much it means for you to stay right here with me the time we spend apart will be Love grows stronger, but it hurts so bad I can't take it any longer. I wanna go on with you, I wanna die lying in your arms. I wanna grow old with you, I wanna be looking in your eyes, I wanna be there for you. Sharing in everything you do I want to grow old with you A thousand miles Between us now It causes me To wonder how I love to know so strong It makes our wrists Right all along The time we spend apart Will make our love grow stronger But it hurts so bad I can't take it any longer I want to go Thank you.